the green box garden welcome guys this is my garden and I'll be showing you what I'm growing starting from here as you come out the door I've got a coriander in pot um, I've taken a few harvests from this I've got my blueberry plant uh, I've taken a lot of I've eaten a lot of blueberries from this so have the birds to be honest with you as well um, this plant is a really old plant uh, so definitely over seven years I think um, and over here is my herb garden I uh, have some herbs and some vegetables to be honest with you because I just don't like empty spaces I'll show you what I have right now some cal calendula or marigold some more coriander basil oregano I've got sage carrots beetroots more coriander and I'm propagating some mint here and I've got loads and loads of weeds on this bed as well okay I have just moved into into this property this bed had lots of flower brambles and all sorts in here <laughs> plants I can't identify um, here are my lovely green boxes uh, the first one I have some Egyptian walking onions uh, in there <laughs> and in there and the second box I've got a strawberry plant I've got um, uh, yeah it's really healthy I took this with me from my old previous property and I have just propagated it in this pot because it's sending out runners so I can make new plants for next year in here I've got a plant I'm not quite sure what the name is but it's a type of berry I think it was from a, uh, my allotment a uh, friend in here I've got thornless a thornless blackberry I've had for years it's been battered but it survived it's a very strong plant here I've got tons and din kale as well as some more Jerusalem, no, Egyptian walking onions. I was going to say Jerusalem artichokes. I've grown those before as well, but that's not what this is. I've got Thompson Dean kale, it's perennial kale, as well as um, walking onions. More Thompson Dean kale in the pot over there. Then this green box. I love this box because it's got oregano. I love oregano. In here, uh, it's healthy, it's flowering right now. And I don't know the name of this plant an allotment friend gave it to me I don't have an allotment anymore I've given it up because of this garden I've got I think I we moved in here because of this lovely garden space unfortunately I can't grow in all the space but I'm still very limited with where I can grow but I'm thankful um, this is my greenhouse I've had it for a long time uh, and it is brilliant I love it I make use of it every year is the only one that has blown away <laughs> I used to buy the cheap ones they just blow away and here I've got basil or basil I started from seed oregano from seed a rose cutting bay tree I've taken cuttings I'm always taking cuttings just to create new plants it's, they make really lovely gifts you know Swiss chard chives and some type of onion there I've got radish mint more chives going in there I've got rosemary more walking onions some cuttings of my plants more cuttings I take a lot of cuttings in here and also rosemary cutting more rosemary cutting it's a very messy pot but got lots of rosemary cutting that's a mint I think yeah, this is where I took my cutting from because it doesn't look its best, it looks good but if you can see I think I might need a new plant one tip, always grow your mint in pots because they will take over the world <laughs> oh, mint and raspberries <laughs> right, um, thyme one of my favourite herbs I used to have um, thyme in two or three different pots but they got really old uh, really really old so I just created, started a new one in this house I didn't bring that one along with me uh, carrot okay I have butter beans been attacked by something aphids or something but 
I'll let nature take its thing because I've got a ladybird on there kiwi I've got a video coming up or already up about kiwi okay I've got my raised bed my first raised bed from I think this raised bed was 15 pounds from Aldi <laughs> and I just did a no dig bed so cardboard and a raised bed on top I planted everything here from seeds I've got coriander I've got beetroot here carrots some spinach some sort of cabbages being attacked spring onions more spinach and something interesting it's gonna be a surprise at the end I don't know what it is um, strawberry <laughs> I can't talk today strawberry plants and more walking onions and some strawberries in there and this was made by a friend from the allotment tons and ding hill again this is the first one I put in the ground it will recover it doesn't look the best right now but it will recover and last but not least my lavender plant in the ground this is a cotton I took from the old plant I had in the place I've just moved from so and then I've got my wormery there so it is my compost heap because I have I didn't bring my comp compost bin with me and I can't make one I'm not that that way inclined I'm not good with DIYs unfortunately so I have to pay for it <laughs> so until then I've just put it there and I hope you enjoyed the tour of my garden Bye guys!